Kaneko team, my friend. Thank the gods you're here. Ever since we parted ways I've been exhausting myself running all over the Crystorium, questioning anyone and everyone, hoping someone might have seen Andrea, but alas. Well, of course. Surely this is the limit of what a man with meager financial resources can accomplish? But never mind all that. For it but recently dawned on me that the vision you beheld of Renderay's past could hold the clues for which we have been desperately searching. When you first described it to me, I felt as though I had heard it before, and I had. My wet nurse had told me the exact same story when I was still a boy. Twas a tale of a courageous hunter who together with her comrades embarked on a quest to slay a notorious mark, a great horned beast. They came upon their quarry in a desert, and there attempted to lay it low. Alas, the beast had a singular strength, and the hunter a fatal weakness, and so in the ensuing struggle her comrades were killed, leaving her the sole survivor, to swear vengeance. Would you not agree that your vision is a perfect match for this tale? Then there can be no doubt. Renderay is the celebrated hunter, the hero I so admired in my childhood. After that tragic day, the hunter resolved not to rely upon others and instead slew the beast by herself. She somehow found a way to compensate for her weakness. Anyway, my recollection of the tale is likely riddled with errors. We should ask Miss Alvarez to recount it in full. She was a bounty hunter herself before she entered into our service, you know. Also, in light of all this, I should share with you an interesting theory concerning all the virtues I heard from a fellow hunter. Apparently, each appears to be driven by particular memories, moments that forever changed each of these fallen heroes. Makes sense, doesn't it? Renere being a hunter of notorious marks in life and in death. I don't know why it never occurred to me before. But if that is indeed the reason for why she behaves as she does, then the more we learn about Renere's adventures, the better our chances of predicting where she'll turn up. All the more reason to go and see my former wet nurse. Miss Alvaro lives in Gate Town, on Colizia. Let us be off, then. Hello there. Are you a friend of Reek's? Kaneko team, this is Miss Alvara, the wet nurse who raised me for practically the entirety of my childhood. She was bonded to my family and lived with us in the city at the time, but when I came of age she was forced to leave. My. You've grown into such a strapping young man. But, I can't imagine you came to Gator Town just to pay me a visit, my little Reek. Not in front of her, if you please. But to answer your question, we did in fact come to see you. There were stories you told me as a child of a courageous hunter. Was that hunter perchance the warrior of light, Renderay? 
of all the reasons you could have had. I, those stories were of Rendere. The greatest bounty hunter of her day, the legend so many aspired to become. Less so, after the flood. It was still fresh in everyone's minds when I was younger, and for all the good they had done in life, none could deny the chaos they sowed in death. As sin eaters. But despite all of that, me and my mates still looked up to her. We knew all her feats and swore to preserve them, in secret if need be, that she might inspire future generations as she had ours. So years and years later, when you wanted to hear tales of adventure and heroism, I couldn't help but share with you the ones nearest and dearest to my heart. I only wish I hadn't had to change all the names. Then it's true. The hero who I looked up to as a child, whose tales of daring do drove me to take up the bow, as you had, to pester you for training that I might become a bounty hunter, it was her. Miss Alvara. Kanakotin and I are hunting Andrea, and we believe that one of the stories you shared with me may help guide our search. Namely, the one about the great horned beast that killed her friends. Will you tell it to me again? Wicked White, is that? Oh, my little Reek. Very well. Even as a young hunter, Renderay's incredible hearing was unparalleled. She could track her quarry through a forest by the most minute sounds of their passing, from miles away, even, by some accounts. Even the most subtle and stealthy beasts never eluded her for long. A misplaced foot, a snapped branch, eventually, Renderay would know, and her aim was always good and true. As she grew older and honed her skills further, she set her eyes on bigger prizes. She became a hunter of notorious marks, and together with her comrades earned fame and fortune. As their reputations swelled, so too did their egos. Only the most dangerous game would suffice. And so they resolved to hunt the scourge of Norvrant, the devourer of souls, Balamquits. But what Renderay did not realize was that her greatest strength would prove her undoing, for when she faced Balamquits, the beast roared with such force that it brought her to her knees. Helpless. She could only watch as it claimed the lives of her beloved comrades and fled. After burying the hunters and vowing that she would one day avenge them, she took to the road once more. She met Ardbert and his fellow warriors of light, and for a time she accompanied the fledgling heroes on their adventures. To them, she was a breath of fresh air, a vibrant young woman who savoured every moment and found joy in the simple pleasures. They knew naught of her fallen friends or how their deaths weighed heavy upon her still. The party wandered the realm, performing many great deeds and growing ever stronger, as did Rendere. While in Kholusia, she even devised a means to defend against the powerful roar that had been her downfall that fateful day. And then, while engaged in an adventure in Raktika, a rumor reached Renderay's ears. Balamquits, scourge of Norvrant, devourer of souls, had been spotted wandering the Sizha swamps. Twas a golden opportunity, but to seize it would be to face the beast alone. She could not wait for Ardbert and the others, nor could she ask that they forsake their sworn duty. But perhaps it was just as well, for the memory of her defeat still haunted her. The courageous hunter had allowed a single fear to take root in her heart, the fear of losing her new companions as she had her old.
so it was that Rendere ventured forth in secret, resolved to slay her hated foe, Balamquits, alone. And with all her strength and guile the legendary hunter did just that. Vengeance claimed, she rejoined Ardbert and the others, and never spoke of the terrible battle twixt her and the dread beast. From that day forward, she was Rendere, the warrior of light, and the deeds of her and her comrades would be celebrated forevermore. It's strange to think that the woman I admired when I was young would become the sin eater I swore to slay. What she became doesn't change who she was. Even if the tales were a little embellished over the years, they were rooted in truth. She was and will always be a hero to me, and to you, I hope. Thank you, Miss Alvara, for everything. I promise I will visit you again soon. So, Kaneko team, remember that theory I told you before about the virtues being driven by powerful memories? If Vandria is reenacting the journey leading up to her confrontation with Balanquits, the one that took her from Amharim to Kolazi, then her next destination must be. Wait, what? No. She went to the Raktaika Greatwood, the Sisha Swamps, to be precise. And so that is where we shall go. Let us away. Now listen, Reek, there's an awful lot people don't know about Rendere. Or the world, for that matter. So wherever you go and whatever you see, remember not to take it at face value. Don't just accept what others tell you as good and true. Listen to your heart and decide for yourself. And be safe. Kaneko time, was it? It is such a pleasure to meet a friend of Reek's. His parents never hesitated to provide him with all the wealth and opportunities they could, but when it came to love and support, well, all I can say is that it is a miracle that boy turned out as well as he did. One can never have too many friends or too much support. That goes for you as well, I should think. When I was little, Miss Alvar seemed so much bigger and stronger than me. Though, to be perfectly honest, the way she carries herself even now bespeaks a confidence I cannot help but envy. But never mind that. We have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once, and keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. About time our luck took a turn for the better. 
There she is. What? Now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I wish you were all here with me, but I know it's better that you're not. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard, and this time, I'm ready for your tricks. Bow and quiz. Vengeance will be mine this day. Just wait until I hit you with one of my dulling arrows. It worked. I've got you now, you bastard. for taking them from me. Like I'll let you roar again. I've got plenty of arrows left. Yes, yes. Just like that. Without your roar, you're nothing. It was my fault. My failure. That's why I have to do it alone. If I'd only been this strong back then, they'd still be alive. You can feel it, can't you? The pain, the fear. Serves you right. What the? Where is this coming from?
crap. I won't let it end like this. We won't. God damn it, Renda. Made it in the nick, I see. I'm hurt. Don't worry, I've got you. The lone wolf just had to do it on her own terms. I, well, I was never good at indulging foolishness. Don't, don't tell me you followed my trail. I'll tell you all about it after we kill this bloody bastard. I... Something's wrong. It's shrugging off our attacks. It's coming for me and Rinda. Keep your distance. Round Yelp. Lend him your strength. I owe you one. Gone or roar again, huh? What the hell do you roar? I've got plenty arrows left for you yet. Well, Scrub, keep it up. Focus, everyone. Come to me. Any something big. Finish me. Everyone, to me. I lend you my power. Together we will avenge my fallen friends. Victory will be ours. No more games. Damn you. We have almost got him. Give it your all. Well, bugger. Everyone all right? Albert, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone, and I'm sorry for trying to go it alone. And why, pray tell, did you even try to do something so foolish? If we would been here from the first, it wouldn't have been anything even approaching a challenge. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter, I've told you that much. But I haven't told you about my old partners. Together, we tracked and claimed countless notorious marks throughout Norrant. We were the best in the business, Everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends, 
and somewhere along the line, we started to believe it too. And then we set our sights on Balam quits. I survived, they didn't. I swore vengeance, but had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot, and thought that maybe, with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. So you see, I never intended to keep it all a secret. It's just, you never asked, and since I'd rather not talk about it. Easier to live in the moment, you know? The next town, the next job. The weeks flew by, and after a time, I started having second thoughts. I'd lost those closest to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Are we or are we not comrades? Through thick and thin? These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else. Otherwise, they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pained you? What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? You've saved our lives more times than I can count, how dare you refuse to let us do the same? And without those keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bollocks Brandon and Yelbert are whispering about me behind my back. And ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. This one's worth a fortune, I, And fame besides. I'll wager we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. Oh gods, not another night to remember. Don't you worry your pretty head over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory, for the small folk will sleep easy once they hear of Balamquit's demise until Odbert's drunken snoring wakes them from their slumber. And on that note, I think it time we quit this place. And Renere, I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you'll do us the courtesy of extending us an invitation. And there I thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs, selfish as it was. Oh, fine. But if you go and die on me, I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite. Agreed. Now then, mind cutting off whatever it is you need to take back as proof of the kill? I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality. Such a fine crystal. Why not hold on to it as a memento of this occasion? Wake up, damn you. Hello? What's wrong with you? That's the second time your call gift has cost us a chance at slaying Andrea. You, you know what? I've had enough. Enough, I say. Yes. I don't need your help. I am perfectly capable of hunting the Sin Eater on my own.
Upon our return to Gate Town, you will be given your final payment, and we will be free to go our separate ways. What is it? Did something happen between you two? Honestly, I don't know why I ever placed my faith in you. You are, such a disappointment. Consider this the formal dissolution of our partnership. Let none ever again speak the names Reek and Kainakotin in the same breath, yes, never again. And with that, I bid you good day. When he was little, Reek's parents punished him for a time by withholding his allowance. Without money to lavish on his friends he soon found that many were only drawn to him by his wealth. I dare say he feared you would abandon him as they did, and decided to push you away first. I'm not trying to make excuses for what he said. I only hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Take some time to think it over, then come and see me. Oh, and take this for your troubles. <laughs> 